This week we service KX60, we shift machines about and we buy something new. I'm the Digger this is episode 56, let's go. This video is sponsored by Shopify, there'll be more than that later on. We're on Tuesday morning and today we are servicing our KX60-5. This Kubota is about a year old now, so this is its first service that it's had. Was it 500 hours? 500 hours. So we usually do all this, well, Dad usually does it all himself. The bigger machine we did get Molson's out to do it before and the Cabelco, Molson's done it too. But yeah, Dad just tackles these himself, so let's get into it. Dad won't put a microphone on, so we're not going to be able to hear him mumbling, but he'll be in it and I'll try and tell you what he's trying to say. It's so windy up here. So what are you doing here? I've got something to do, go <laughs> I'm trying to find out what you're doing. I'm just telling you what you're doing. Where's Alan Keys? Are these mum's good dishcloths you stole? Eh? So HRN sent us a sandy from HRN, got that organised and sent it up last week for us. It's got all the filters in it. Fuel. Quite easy to get into them ones, aren't they? Doddle. Doddle. What machine was it? was quite awkward. The 80. Was it not the 57? The 80 is quite easy, is it not? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Just want to point out there that he is not a professional, but it's just what he's been learned over the years and yeah, as I said, he's always kind of always done on himself. So that plug he's putting in back now is the one what you take out to drain the oil out the tank before putting in the oil filter. Fuel filter is next. So I'm putting in a new fuel filter, take the new one, fill it up with diesel and then take out the old one and put in the new one. And this is the fuel, fil fuel filter here, again so easy to hand. Easy. <laughs> What's next? Air filter. Air filter. Drink up the clean. Spotless. What? I could manage it, aye. And if it's bottles, why not just keep it in and wipe it in a new one? What? What's that one? Mm -hmm. 
bought this. Could sell that on again, put it back in the box. It's not too bad, is it? She's a thingy to get off. Pretty simple to be fair. Engine oil. Is that you? All done? Hubs now. Perfect. These don't get changed in every service, do they? So that is as easy how it looks, just an oil change, so oil out, new oil in. That's it. Do you put this one back in there too? Mm -hmm. That wasn't hard. Was I not? Take them all back up, and that's you. Job done. Boom. Boom. I can only apologise for last week as I had no video. The job I've been working on for the last last week and the start of this week, um, I couldn't film on. There's a number of different reasons why I couldn't film on, but I didn't. So hopefully, I'll be back to normal work tomorrow, Dad. Maybe. We've also bought something new. We've also bought a new four-wheel Scanny Tipper. Um, it is down in London. We've bought it for doing up the likes of these roads, um, purely just for ourselves. Trucker Tim is going to pick it up for us. Hopefully this week, maybe next week. Who knows? But that's exciting. We've been looking for one for a while. We could use a dumper, track dumper, but we thought we'd just go all out and buy a four-wheeler Scanny. We did think about getting a six-wheeler, but then I was saying to Dad, it's too much. Like, trying to turn them on these roads, you'd be going for mile, miles with it. Um, it would just bigger, bulkier. So we've just opted for a four-wheeler, but I'm really excited to um, get it, actually. It's a cool little thing. It's very old school like us. It's a 57, um, but it's pretty minted. There's a few touch-up bits being done around the bumper and stuff. Here's a video here where we got sent. First thing we probably ever bought without seeing it, but it looks pretty good. We bought it off CBE in London and so far they couldn't have been more helpful and um, very pleasant and getting back to me right away with messages. Literally, we said yes and put a deposit through within an hour. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm excited to get that up the road now. And of course, see Trucker Tim again. <laughs> That's the service all done. Now, home. What do you think, Dad? Eh? Oh, topping up hydraulic oil. 
oh, and we've still got the nissan. After going on about getting rid of it, it's not giving us any grief so far. So we're just going to keep it for a little bit longer. There's a lot going on. We've just got that tipper. Dad's obviously renovating that old house, so he's going to hold on to it for a couple months longer. Scott Plant 2024 is only six weeks away. For those of you that don't know what Scott Plant is, Scott Plant is a plant show over here in Scotland in Ingolston in Edinburgh. Now this is the first ever show that I've got my very own pitch and I'm going to have my digger there and my shop. Although it's not going to be this shop because I have bought something new to take with me but I'm keeping that a surprise for you guys. Now that Scott Plant's just round the corner and I am taking my own shop and my merch, I've had to do a stock intake. But as you guys know, that I, I use Shopify and have done from the very beginning, which is great because it's allowed me to create, manage and grow dead simply. When I can see things are getting low, I don't have to come here and do the count because Shopify does it all for me and it tells me what I've sold and what I've got left. That means that I don't have to come out here every time and I can do it from my own comfort from my living room. Another great thing about an app is that every time I make a sale, I hear the cha-ching noise, which is always a bonus. At Scott Planet, it's going to be my first ever show that I've got these for sale in person and not just online. So it's my new character ones, there's me, my digger and Dipper and we have Dipper here too as well as the school bags and the hoodies. So because I'm so used to using Shopify and the app online, when I go to shows I can also use it there too. So I can see there and then what I've sold, what I've got to sell and how much I've made. If you guys are thinking about starting up your own shop, then I can only recommend Shopify. It is so, so easy to use, even for an operator like me. It's so easy to use at events and online and keep track of everything, all in the one place on your phone. So make sure you thank Shopify and I can't wait to hear your success stories. It's Thursday morning and I have just left Agile Engineers. I was in getting some more of the hydraulic oil, the 46. We ran a bit low on it yesterday. And the Cabelco's a bit low in it too. So dad is on the Cabelco today, got his oil and I'm heading out and I'm going back with my machine, thankfully. It's been a while. Here she is here. Could absolute stay of it. It's not very nice at all. Anyway, what is it? seven weeks or something till Scott Plant. Scott Plant's a plant show in Edinburgh and um, this year I've had my own pitch. It'll be my first ever time I've had my own pitch at a show which is really exciting. I'll be taking this machine down and I'll be selling merch there too but as you can see it's not show ready. It's not going to be for a while either with the amount of work we've got to get through. I'm heading, I'm heading, going back over to Campbell's yard, DJ Campbell Hollage. I've been there so many times, scraping the yard with the brush on, sweeping the concrete. I Me and Graham was there just before Christmas would have been, clearing a space away for a new port cam to put in. So we've done loads over there. So yeah, this is where I'm going. I've asked Dad, he's picking up the cabello, I've asked him to put on the brush for this as well, which he wasn't too happy about him to go back to get it. But anyway, I need the brush. And I've also got my brand new grading beam over in that yard over there. So I'm gonna get them to swing by and pick that up too because I'll be doing planings over there. I want to get a shot of it. It's a like a mental grading beam with the roller on the back. So I'm good to show you guys this, but let's get this machine fired up, see what fuel's in it. Probably none. Quarter. Which is fine. I'm heading over to Camel's Yard anyway, so I almost fill it up there. Here comes that just in queue as well. That was very good timing. There we are, all loaded back on, on to the next job. Here it is here. Need a bigger lorry now for all these attachments. Breaker side done there too. shouting feed me feed me so I'll just fill it up now so handy having this instead of having to cart drums around if you've been watching my channel you'd have seen me use this before on this yard with all that rubbish is just getting up there 
pee and mud and salt and everything off the lorries. Right, now that's all been um, swept up, I've got the bucket back on and I'm going to rip the planings up. The only teeth would be better, but Dad didn't take that over, but it'll be fine. It's not as if it's hard ground here. Um, so I'll rip it up quickly and then hopefully get a new beam on it to give that a good go. Let's get this new beam on and see what it's like. What makes this beam a little bit different to any more is the any other ones is the roller on the back. When I had a shot of the one before with the demo, it was quite nice for doing topsoil and stuff. So we'll see how we get on here. That way so you can see it. Well, I'm well chuffed the way that's turned out with the, that new beam and the roller on the back. What a difference. I know it doesn't compact it whatsoever, but it does push it down a little bit. Now that's all ready for the roller to come on and roll it and um, hopefully there shouldn't be as much sunken down bits because I did manage to push down with the roller on the back. But yeah, I really like that. I've always been a girl to use my ditch and bucket wind grade and I just love it. That it's, but that has been a game changer. Absolute game changer. Can't wait to use it a little bit more. I think around like topsoil and tidying up round houses and all that would be great for that as well, as well as roads of course. Now I'm just going to stick the brush back on and get back to do that concrete. You've probably seen me doing this concrete a few times now so Let's just get it on and get it done, tidy up this for them. Now that this bit's been tidied up, the concrete can get swept up. Just that wee bit there. The reason why he's not concreting the full thing is because he's well and truly outgrown this yard now. When I used to drive with Campbell's, he'd had maybe 11 lorries, if that, maximum. Now he's got 30. So he's looking for a bigger yard, so he's not going to be um, here for much longer. So the last time I've obviously done the whole concrete, that bit up there's not too bad. But this time of year there's that much salt and um, rubbish that comes off the lorry from being in the forest and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'll just be this bit. Hopefully that is dry, it'll come up a little bit easier as well. But that's looking so good, I'm so chuffed with that. I don't know about you lot, but I'm totally ready for it being summer and the dust being flying everywhere. What a difference everything makes when it's dry. Another job all done, the concrete all swept, what a difference in the dry. 
Um, I'm just going up to do a couple of potholes at the driveway up here now. The reason these potholes keep gathering here is because when I've done this road, it's always had a camber and the water runs down that way and runs down to the separation tank down there. But with this, there's nowhere for the water to go unless I put it into Tommy's garden, which I don't think it'll be too chuffed about. So this bit's got to be quite flat and that's why it keep, ends up being potholes. And when you're doing, when you are doing a road or that and you're getting potholes, it's because there's not enough shape and the water needs somewhere to run off. So I'm going to put more planes on top of this, so this is not my original shaping. That's my day all over and done with. Um, a good day, nice day, nice and dry, so that'll help the ground a little bit. We shall see you tomorrow. Thursday morning and I am back in the Hyundai today. Uh, I don't really have much to do my Kubota over there. Um, there's still more stuff being done at that yard. But this is where I kind of come when there's not much to be done at other jobs, but it's because there's so much to get done here. If you watched my video from a few weeks back, I've done that ditch along there. It could be getting a little bit deeper down there. The water is running, but very slowly. So I might need to get the breaker back on to make that a little bit deeper. I also done that tidying up at this end. I'm going to go up the other end and finish that first of all, and then see what happens from there. There's so much to be done here, so much. Come on in, here we go. That's a bit all down to, down, down to the yard there now, all the ditch done there. I'm going to go and go to this side now and pull all, well as far as I can reach, um, the soil back up neatly and have it on the rock going down here. Um, it's dead simple to do, so all you're doing is pulling the soil back up and neaten it off down there with whatever you've got.
are, that's all tied up now. Now, you can't say that that is not tighter than what it was before. It just finishes it so nicely as well. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll all grass over in no time and I'll just be a straight road down there and a good ditch, of course, to catch the water. We're on Friday morning and this morning I am in the Scania and I am heading to pick up over to Coochie and a track dumper. It's a way up where it was up by that cool dam that I had my videos, it must have been about four weeks ago now. A nice wee easy Friday for me to go and pick up some machines. Holes everywhere. Look at that. Let's jump out for a quick picture. That's the main dam you're seeing up in the distance there. It comes down and then here's the second dam here. It's pretty incredible engineering that is. And it's pretty chilly up here. Oh, let's get a couple of pictures for the, for the gram. Right, go and find these machines now. I don't know if anyone's here. Don't think they will be. But should just be where I dropped the to cut you off. Uh, oh yep, there's to cut you down there at the power station. Here's the main dam, look at the size of it. It's massive. Like just now that down there has shown me that the axle's up so I put it down when I'm going to be loading these two and the track dump will be going on first. So first thing I do is come put these legs down here. Stabilizers down. These ones are electric so it's just that wee button and them down like that. off the ground which means the suspension has to go down that much. Down until it hits the ground at the back. That's us. And then I can actually just turn this off. Oh what do you win? And again the ramps. that light goes off and then fingers crossed
the ramps up first so we can see exactly where the dipper's going. Right, that's me at this site. Now I'm going to do a really quick tip because I am getting the kids from school today so I am really tight for time the time I get all this done. So, quick tip here, out of here. That's a easy tip. I'm taking this back to that, it's just higher, that's not our track dumper. Just threw that bucket off there, put this one on and um, yeah, try to take that back to the higher place now. I'm going to do my what to do, it was time now, half, half one. Two, quarter three. I'll be kind of really fine to get a catch from school, but I'll go do it anyway. It's off quickly. Go, track dumper is off. What's the time? Time to get going, but got my Christmas present off Alan. Wine for me, bottle of whiskey for dad, sweets for mum, and a bottle for Arthur, our operator. That's how you look after your customers, isn't it? A bit late, but. Well, I just made it back to get the kids there in time from school. Um, that was a rush. And that is my week all over and done with. Make sure you come back next week to see Tracker Time will be up delivering our new tipper. And yeah, there's a lot of other things going on. But as always, thanks for the comments, likes, and for subscribing to me. And see you next week. What do you want? No! What's going on here? What makes this, um, what is that noise? What's the thing? Oh sh**, no stop, stop. No, oh, don't want it up. Jeez, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Just want to move my seat forward. <laughs>